Hey, welcome to Gas Mileage. I'm your host, Eric, and today we are talking about the Carvana Hellcat. That's right, I purchased a Dodge Challenger 2016 Hellcat from Carvana this past December, and I'm gonna share with you my experience with the whole entire process. So before the Hellcat, I was driving a 2013 Dodge Challenger SXT Plus. This is the V6 model, and like an idiot, I cut the mufflers off and made this thing stupid loud. And that ultimately drove me to the point of near insanity. I was like, I can't deal with this anymore, and it was time for an upgrade to begin with, so I started looking for other options. Naturally, I wanted to stay with Dodge. I had a really good time with that vehicle, and I wanted something more powerful. And of course, I was a Hellcat fanatic. I love the sound of the supercharger and that was the main thing that drew me towards this vehicle. And when I decided that I was going to start looking for Hellcats, I reached out to a local dealer who was selling a Dodge Charger a 2016 with a tour red paint color. I can't remember the exact mileage on it, but the price was relatively good, but I wanted to see if they were willing to come down on it. And as soon as I asked that, I got some runaround questions and basically they wanted to get me to go through their process the way they wanted to do it. They didn't want to really treat me like somebody who knew what they were talking about. And so because of that, I decided I did not want to have any human interaction or very little human interaction when it comes down to being sold a car or buying a car. And ultimately, I looked and found Carvana. And when I started searching for Hellcats on Carvana, they actually had probably five or six of them. And one of them caught my eye. It was the one I'm in now. It was white ivory with black carbon stripes. And it's the automatic version. Of course, I would have loved the manual, but um, at this point in time, I was waiting for uh, just the right deal and the right opportunity. And so when this one came up and it was an automatic, I figured that's fine. I don't necessarily need to be driving a manual just yet, even though um, I will admit I am kind of excited to be having a manual car at some point in the future. But realistically, a Hellcat is a Hellcat, and you know I'm not complaining one bit. So when I saw this on Carvana, I went through the steps to see what it'd be like to actually purchase it. And there really wasn't a lot of steps involved. Very quickly, I found out that you can purchase this car very easily and they've got their own financing which doesn't offer the best rates but you know they make it readily available for you to get a car right then and there when you're on their website and so i slept on it and when i came back the next day i found that there was a purchase pending order on that vehicle so that means somebody in the time that i was gone had gone through the motions and actually uh displayed to carvana that they were an interested in serious buyer and so when you do that carvana will actually lock the car for you and give you enough time to collect all of your documents your financing pretty much everything you would need to make that yours. So when I saw this, my heart sunk a little bit because I had already kind of pre-sold myself. And so I reached out to Carvana and I asked, is this like a glitch or is this actually, you know, someone else is purchasing the car? And they told me that, you know, somebody else is actually purchasing the car, but uh, their timer, the timer in which they locked the car for you was coming up in about 10 minutes. So I sat there by the computer and I refreshed and I waited 10 minutes and sure enough, it was unlocked um, just when they said it would be. And so at that point in time, I went through every single necessary step to make sure that it was locked with a purchase pending for me. And this gave me enough time to go get my financing in order. I financed through my bank, maybe federal credit union, and they gave me a used car loan for $35,000 at roughly 4.3% interest. My credit score at the time was 750, 760. And realistically, I had no issues getting that loan. And so with that $35,000 and the trade-in value of the SXT Plus, the V6 that I was driving before, I put $6,000 down and the Hellcat was mine. Now, I was looking at the Hellcat right before Christmas and I had it delivered on December 27th. Now, when it came to delivery, it was not the uh, delivery service that I was hoping for. They actually delivered the vehicle um, by driving it to me. They called me up the day that it was supposed to be delivered. Normally their process is they load it up on one of their Carvana trucks and they give you a delivery service. So when they told me that the vehicle couldn't be delivered on a truck, or at least they didn't know when the next truck was coming, they told me that they could drive it to me. And I figured, you know, what's the worst that could happen? If they wreck it, obviously I'm not obligated to keep it, of course. Um, realistically there was nothing keeping me from having the guy drive it to me i figured that they would do a fine job driving it and again i had the seven day warranty i could return it for any reason whatsoever so uh, i didn't see an issue with them driving it to me i was just so excited to get the vehicle that i wanted it when i said i wanted it originally which was that day i didn't want to wait for a delivery truck which may or may not have been available that day so uh, they showed up with the car and i'll put a little clip of that
I've been driving this Hellcat now for nine months and really my experience has been absolutely phenomenal. I've been daily driving this thing. I don't drive too much, so it's nice for me, but realistically, this is one of my early dream cars and to be driving it at 26 years old is truly a blessing. So, you know, the whole reason I created this YouTube channel was to share my experience with this vehicle. This vehicle puts a smile on my face every time I get into it, hence the name Gas Mileage. The reason I created this channel was to share these experiences with those who feel the same way that I do when they're around a vehicle that they just have, you know, a, a passion for, or they just, some feeling they really can't get over. Uh, you know, if you're a car guy, you, you really can't explain this. And it's just something that we're drawn towards. And realistically, I'm absolutely in love with this Dodge Challenger Hellcat, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Now, that being said, since it is the automatic, I am looking forward to, of course, picking up a manual version, whether it's a Hellcat manual or whether I upgrade um, and get something different. Uh, realistically, I would love to have multiple vehicles in the lineup, but right now this is the only vehicle that I am driving. Showed up. So we just got told to leave. We were apparently on uh, private property. It's an old abandoned barracks, and apparently People have been sneaking in there, and actually a kid fell and killed himself. So they've been trying to keep the public out of there, and that sheriff show up told me I couldn't be there. So we're on to the next spot. It'd be interested in hearing some supercharger noises. So we'll go ahead and take this out of eco mode. experience with Carvana I have to say it was great again it didn't go perfectly because I really did want the vehicle to get delivered on one of their trucks even though their trucks aren't that cool but uh, realistically I thought it'd be cool to have like a delivery service like that so all in all again would I recommend you to use Carvana from my personal experience yes I think it's a good call I I was very pleased with how seamless and how easy it was to actually make a purchase with them Picasso's come out and painted. All in all, I would recommend Carvana. I've had a blast in this Hellcat so far. I want to keep it for a lot longer. I'm having so much fun with it. So again, would I recommend that you check Carvana out and give them a shot? You know, based on my experience, yeah, everything went great. Now, can I guarantee that's going to happen with you? No, but at the same time, um, it's worth a shot. Like I said, you got seven days to return the vehicle, up to 300 miles driven, and they'll take it back, no questions asked, give you a full refund. So again, there's really nothing to lose. And the car came out better than I thought it would. You know, they they mentioned some things online that really didn't show up in person. And so I'm guessing it's all hit or miss whether your vehicle is gonna be perfect or not. But uh, I think it's worth the shot. You know, Carvana has been great with me.
and now we're at our next spot and I want to do a little walk around for you and uh, show you the car. Filthy right now. But she's going to be getting a foam wash pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Hey, thanks for watching my first video. Check out the next video. She'll be getting a bath with the foam cannon. We just got it, and it's gonna be her first time using it. She's gonna get real clean. Thanks again.